100 pounds of cabbage. Decore it. such big biceps, right? This is just 100 pounds every day. It's good for you. Good workout. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it's on the daikon radish. beneficial properties that uh, it, it helps prevent certain types of cancer, it boosts the immune system, reduces inflammation, it also improves digestion, it can detoxify the body, strengthens the bones, it even aids in respiratory health and stimulates weight loss. We also wanted to share with you some of the health benefits um, of the cabbage itself. It's often used as a treatment for constipation. Probably everybody realized that one, right? <laughs> Stomach ulcers, headaches, obesity, skin disorders. Like We're mixing the cabbage and the daikon with the sea salt, and it's really starting to break down some more. All right, so here we're adding our 20 cups of, um, it's actually our ginger carrots. So these are carrots that we have already fermented with uh, local garlic. I'm sorry, uh, ginger that we get. So these, uh, this really helps to speed the process along because this is already a fermented product from Oli Valley Organics. Um, so we love their, their garlic. So we're gonna add our three cups of garlic to the recipe. And again, this is already been fermented. So it's got lots of probiotics already in it. <laughs> the last ingredient is our red pepper flake. So we actually do get this. This is not local. This is shipped in. This is the Korean red pepper flake called Pachukuru. And we put in quite a bit of that too. We put in like five cups of that. To the bicep building <laughs> but the good news is we let this sit for oh I don't know we had took about 45 minutes or so maybe an hour let it sit um, so it's it's already down quite a bit and my gosh the amount of water that it draws out is just amazing All right, so this is how we pack our, our ferments. So this is uh, the last batch of kimchi, and this is about 12 days old right here. And we just use this, it's actually a 
cheese mat for draining cheese that I got from a cheese maker. Um, that turned out to be a great, great way to keep the vegetables underneath the brine and then we just use bags of water as our weight. And there you go, it's back under the brine.